All right. So welcome everybody to another Getting to Know Michigan webinar series. This one is all about community and civic engagement at University of Michigan. My name is Brendan Gallagher. My pronouns are he and his, and I work at the Ginsburg Center for Community Service and Learning. And so today we're gonna talk about community engagement, and social change and opportunities to plug into that work here at the University of Michigan. And we'll talk about a range of different ways that you can be doing that work and plug into it um, and explore what that looks like both at the Ginsburg Center and some of our programs and offerings, but also um, across campus and in the local uh, and, some, and at some points, global communities. And so a quick roadmap for today uh, some of the things that we'll be touching on uh, over the next handful of minutes um, is just kind of shaping up this idea of U of M being your new home for community and civic engagement. Many of you are, uh, might be or are heavily involved in community engagement work in your home communities or in other communities, but as you either relocate to Ann Arbor or in Washtenaw County, or for those of you who are already here, um, and are stepping into your new role as student at U of M, uh, thinking about Ann Arbor and Washtenaw County as your new home for community and civic engagement. We're also gonna touch on uh, a framework or a way of thinking about civic and community engagement through this, uh, the framework at Ginsburg Center called our Pathways for Civic and Community, Civic Engagement and Community Change. Uh, and then we'll dive into some of the Ginsburg Center programs University of Michigan programs and community engaged student organizations, all of which are opportunities to plug into and continue or start your community engagement and, and social change work here at the University of Michigan. And so as mentioned, one of the ways that we think about community engagement at the Ginsburg Center, but also the ways that we're challenging you to think about your own community engagement uh, towards social change is to think about it along different pathways, right? We all show up and work towards community engagement and social change through a variety of different ways. Some of you might be doing volunteer service, others of you might be engaged in activism or community organizing or raising funds or resources for a particular cause or issue or nonprofit organization that you're passionate about. Some of you might be more into engaging in research to, to inform the work that's happening around a particular cause or issue. Um, others of you may be big into social entrepreneurship or policy and governance. All that to say that one of the biggest ways that we try to help ourselves and students at U of M think about the ways that you go about doing your community engagement work is that a lot of that is taking place along these different pathways. And so what you're seeing in front of you are the six main pathways that, that we have shaped up here at the Ginsburg Center. There certainly may be others, um, but these are the, the main ones that we really talk about. And so policy and governance being that you're participating in the democrat democratic political process, policy making, public governance, voter engagement work um, is kind of things that fall under that pathway. Direct service, uh, for those of you who are committing a lot of hours of volunteerism and service work towards whatever cause or issue that you care about. That's kind of what we're talking about with the direct service pathway. Um, for our community engagement uh, and our community engaged learning and research, that's more along the lines of engaging in, in research, uh, enriching knowledge and informing action on social issues through your coursework, uh, through academic research and learning. And so for those of you who are really interested in that, um, that is a pathway that we're oftentimes seeing a lot of folks engaging and contributing to change that way. Uh, community organizing and activism is another big one. And so for those of you who are, uh, in, are already involved in or are interested in uh, educating and mobilizing people to influence others towards attitude, policy, or culture change, um, there's a lot of, of activism happening on campus uh, in a lot of different ways. And so that's another pathway that that uh, we're seeing a lot of students show up and, and work towards change on. Philanthropy, uh, this is your, you know, kind of donating or raising funds, resources for organizations. And so 
uh, efforts to raise funding for a particular cause, raise funding for a, a, a philanthropic endeavor that a, that a uh, nonprofit organization that you care about might be doing. Raising funding and raising resources is another important way that we can work towards positive long-term social change. And lastly, social entrepreneurship. And so this idea of using ethical business and marketed oriented approaches to address social or environmental issues. And so again, this is our, this is a, what we call our pathways framework. And so as you are reflecting on the types of experiences or opportunities that you already had, uh, as you've been working in your own communities or in uh, communities you've been a guest in, what types of experiences have landed along these different pathways? And what sorts of experiences do you want to have at the University of Michigan um, that might also fall along these pathways? And that might look for you to continue the work that you've been doing in the past um, through your, your high school experience or through just your in your own home community or outside of a school setting. Um, but it's also helpful to think from the standpoint of what, which one of these pathways or pathways interests you enough to learn more about that you might not have a whole lot of experience on or in or on, and what sorts of opportunities are out there that you can connect to that you can gain some experience on along some of these pathways. And so just wanted to shape that up and, and frame that for you as we think about the work that the Ginsburg Center is doing. Uh, the Ginsburg Center is a community engagement and um, service learning center, and so all of our work is helping students and student organizations engage in community-based work in a way that's rooted in ethical, justice-oriented principles. And so one of the uh, common phrases that we use in our work and that you'll hear as you're engaging in this type of work once you get to Michigan is that what we do matters but how we do it matters too. And so the what we do matters part of it is how are you engaging along those different pathways, volunteer service, philanthropy work, what you're doing along those pathways is important, but also how you do that work along that pathway is important as well. And so as you're thinking about the work that you want to continue to do or, or uh, get engaged with uh, in, in various ways, the ways that we think about how it matters is, is that work rooted in ethical justice-oriented principles that are engaging in, um, that are resulting in long-term, sustainable, impactful change. And so that is the work that the Ginsburg Center is doing. And so if that's something that you're interested in and passionate about, not only doing the work, but deepening your own understanding of self and engaging deeply with communities in order to work towards that change, the Ginsburg Center is a place to do that. And that's a, a central part of the way that we think about our work and the ways that students go about their work when they're, when they're working with us. And so really quickly, uh, here is the Ginsburg Center. Um, we work in, in this cozy house on the corner of, um, of Hill Street and East University, right by Ross College of Business and diagonally across from East Quad. Um, although, most of us, most of our staff, and we've been in a hybrid work environment where some of us have been working remotely, but we're also doing some stuff in person. This is our space. This is the place where we engage with communities. Um, and this is the place where um, all of our work with, with students is happening. Although I will say we are in the process of getting a new building. And so we will be moving to a different part of campus for the next couple of years as we make way for a new building that will be on this site. Uh, and so stay tuned, but I think it's important to at least show where we're at currently um, and that this is where it happens. This is where the music is made. This is where uh, we're connecting with, with all sorts of, of social change and community engagement efforts. And so really quickly, before we jump into the actual programs and opportunities and, and things that are available to you as a student, it's helpful to know that our work at the Ginsburg Center looks a, like a lot of different things. We work and work directly with nonprofit organizations and we connect with community organizations and government agencies and schools uh, to listen to what the needs and priorities of our communities are so that we can better work towards the change that they're hoping for. 
We also work very closely with, with uh, supporting faculty and staff and, and uh, folks that are doing community engaged work in those spaces. And then obviously, as you can see in the, in the blue, um, that so much of our work is primarily supporting students. And so you're about to see some of the ways that we do that uh, and learn about some of the opportunities that are available to you. But a lot of our work is not only providing the opportunities for you all as students to plug into this working community, but also how are we helping to prepare you to do that well, uh, to do that in a way that's aligned with ethical uh, justice oriented principles. So that being said, here are some of the different ways that you as a student can get involved with community engagement and civic engagement towards social change work. Some of these are going to be Ginsburg Center programs. Others are going to be more campus-wide University of Michigan programs. And then I'll kind of touch on and, and help paint a picture of the landscape of student organizations that are doing community-engaged work across campus. And so it's important to note that this is not an exhaustive list. There are all sorts of opportunities available to you across campus. And so I'm going to present a couple of these. Um, and then we'll open it up for uh, Q&A uh, towards the end of this to answer any specific questions that you might have. Um, but also we'll have some contact information uh, at the end of this to, uh, to reach back out if you have any additional questions. So here we go. So some specific things at the Ginsburg Center uh, that are showing up uh, are right here in front of you. So first and foremost, I'll just work down the list here. Um, and again, if you have questions about any of these, feel free to throw them in, in the Q&A. Uh, and I can answer more specifically. So we've one of the first one is uh, we have a first year community engagement cohort. And so this is a semester long uh, weekly meeting where a, a group of like minded students who are who are interested in exploring things like community engagement and social change and identity and and, and how to go about working towards towards uh, justice oriented change. This is the first year community en engagement cohort is meant to bring students together, um, your fellow first year students, that's first year in college or first year transfer students, to learn together, uh, to meet with one another throughout the entire uh, duration of the semester, um, and to learn about leadership and social change, and community engagement. Um, and it's a very kind of community focused type of program. This year, this is going to be starting uh, in, in the winter semester, but there will be some uh, recruitment and opportunities to sign up uh, for this starting in the fall semester. We have an America Reads program. We have actually, I'll, I'll start with the America Reads and Readers Invest. So uh, Ginsburg has our literacy programs. And so we work to very closely with Ann Arbor Public Schools as well as uh, Detroit Public Schools and Ypsilanti Public Schools to uh, support literacy efforts that are happening in those spaces. And so America Reads is a program that employs you all as students in paid positions to serve as mentors and tutors in K-12 classrooms. Readers and Best is a volunteer program where you can read children's books to different families and, and classrooms throughout the semester. And so it's a, it's a voluntary type of position where we have a lot of students and student organizations that just want to be in the classroom and work with kids um, and read books and promote literacy in that way. Um, the next three, Michigan Active Citizens, uh, Alternative Spring Break, Detroit Partnership, and Turn Up, Turn Out are three student organizations that Ginsburg Center sponsors that do different types of community engagement work. Michigan Active Citizens Alternative Spring Break is an organization that provides long-term service trips over U of M's academic spring break, where you would actually go with a team to a community outside of Southeast Michigan to engage in service for the duration of your, uh, acad or your spring break. And so this is a great opportunity to do traveling, but also to learn uh, deeply about a particular cause or issue um, while doing service with uh, fellow students in a community um, outside of Southeast Michigan. So that's uh, Mac ASB. Detroit Partnership is an organization that facilitates service learning opportunities within the city of Detroit. And so if you are somebody that wants to, to volunteer and wants to engage in service learning and learn about uh, the city of Detroit and the issues that uh, the communities are working towards and to work alongside those communities, Detroit Partnership 
is that organization for you? And then Turn Up Turn Out is an organization that rallies around and mobilizes students about voter engagement and, and voter education work. And so if you are somebody that, uh, thinking back to that policy and governance pathway, this is an organization that's doing work along that pathway. So if you're a voter turnout, voter engagement, you wanna get involved with the democratic process, this is an organization that would be available to, to join and to do that work. And then lastly, at the bottom, you're seeing uh, Ginsburg Center has a student advisory board. And so as the center, as Ginsburg makes decisions and, and goes about the work that we're doing to support the campus community around working towards social change, we have a board of students that helps guide that work, that helps give input to that work and helps, helps our center make decisions. And so if you are somebody that is super passionate about community engagement, social change work in general, and a, a, an opportunity like being on an advisory board to help steer that work in a larger way, uh, I invite you to, to consider the, the student advisory board um, and ways to contribute to that work along, uh, along that avenue. So moving on, there are some, um, some different, bigger our programs that are outside of the Ginsburg Center but are, are really popular and really great experiences, uh, programs and initiatives that are also community engaged and working towards uh, social change. So I'm not gonna go in depth through every one of these, but I invite you to write these down if they sound interesting to you um, and search them on the University of Michigan's website uh, because these are all really great programs that are gonna be able to, to plug you into this work in a really deep and great way. And so, Again, the important thing here is these are some of the programs and initiatives. And so uh, some things to highlight, we've got semester in Detroit where you'd actually be living and learning and doing community engagement work in the city of Detroit for an entire semester. Uh, we've got the prison creative arts program, multidisciplinary design program, um, project community, project outreach. Uh, so if you're, interested in organizing work and wanting to build community and, and advocate and do activism around a particular cause that you care in, you might wanna consider either project community or project outreach. Um, but also some of these other ones on, on the right-hand side, um, if you are somebody that is, that is interested in policy work and governance work and, and, and you know, working towards change in that way, um, the program and practical policy engagement is a really great opportunity to hone those skills and acquire those experiences. Um, if you're somebody that wants to shape your academic studies around uh, community action, social change, organizing work, um, there is a great minor out of the School of Social Work called the Community Action and Social Change Minor. So if you're somebody, again, that not only wants to get involved with this stuff outside of the classroom, but you're actually looking to shape your entire academic endeavor around this. I strongly encourage at the very least, check out the Community Action Social Change Finder because it, it will complement whatever your major is and tune it towards how are you using your major in, in a way that's working towards long-term sustainable change. Um, then you've got the, the Graham Sustainability Scholar. So if you are somebody who is really in, interested in uh, sustainability, environmental justice work, uh, eco living, that sort of thing, check out the Graham Sustainability Scholars. It's a way to, again, channel the work that you're doing toward a particular cause or issue that you care about um, while, while aligning your academic studies in a way that's gonna move you towards that type of work. Um, and then lastly, there's the, the Center for Socially Engaged Design. And so if you are somebody that is thinking engineering or you're thinking about ways that you can use socially engaged design, human-centered design as a way to do some public problem solving and, and work towards uh, solutions to causes or issues that you care about, the Center for Socially Engaged Design is another way to plug into. Um, and they work a lot with student organizations and things that are in efforts that are going on across campus. Um, and again, any specific questions that come to mind for these, I'll answer in the, in, in the best ways that I can, but I'll be transparent. I'm not an expert at each one of these programs, but I can 
work to help connect you to the information that you might need to make an informed decision on what's for you. So lastly here, um, well, not lastly, but this next, next part is another channel or avenue that you can plug into community engaged social change work is the robust environment of student organizations on campus. And so this is being involved in a student organization is a very popular and easy way for students to plug into all sorts of work that you might be interested in. So what you're seeing on your screen is there are about 500 plus organizations on campus that are doing community engagement work. I'll, I'll zoom out from there. There's a total of about 1,600 student organizations on campus. U of M is a big place. Um, and that can be slightly anxiety inducing to, to try to figure out, well, which one of those 1,600 do you, do you, work, you will work your way into? But just know that a smaller microcosm of that is there's about smaller, I'm saying, 500 is still a lot. Um, there's about 500 plus, I think there's a little bit more than 500-ish that are doing community engaged work. What you're seeing on the right hand side of your screen is just an example of a couple of different types of organizations doing work, doing this type of work. Opportunities to educate children are doing a lot of tutoring and mentoring. Books for a Benefit is doing literacy promotion and they're doing a lot of philanthropy work around raising funding and raising, doing book collections for literacy promotion in schools. Prison Birth Project is doing a lot of work with uh, incarcerated folks and educational access. Uh, got the Global Health Alliance doing uh, global public health work across the globe. Um, MRAP, Michigan Refugee Assistance Program, doing a lot of uh, work with, with um, refugees and immigrants and, and access to resources. Um, music Matters is doing a lot of work in the city of Detroit around music access and educational attainment. All of that to say, there are so many different student organizations doing so many different things that there is bound to be an organization that is doing work in an area that you are interested in, along a pathway that you are interested in. And so as you're thinking about those pathways, connecting those interests to a student organizations and the work that they're doing is absolutely uh, a promising strategy for finding opportunities that interest you along those pathways. And so the question being, and you may have heard about this already, is how do you actually find those student organizations and connect with them? Well, Maze Pages is the platform to do that. So think of this as like, essentially this is the platform where every student organization that is registered as a student organization at U of M, those 1600 that I just mentioned, they are all on this platform. You can use the QR code down at the bottom left to, to jump onto this platform, or you can just Google Maze Pages UMich and you can get there as well. But this is where you can search the types of organizations that are available to you. And what's cool about this is in that picture, you can see the tab for organizations. You click on that, it takes you to the page where all the organizations have essentially a profile that you can look at to see what they're all about, how to contact them, all those sorts of things, you can actually filter by the type of organization that you're looking for. And so if you're looking for service and service learning, activism, environmental, science, tech, engineering, there's other categories as well. These are just uh, to name a few. You can filter by those organizations and find exactly what you're looking for um, and plug into them that way. And that's, that's the easiest kind of streamlined way of connecting to these opportunities. And so I encourage you, if you haven't already, get onto this platform and just kind of poke around a little bit and, and get see, what's, see what types of organizations exist. Um, and if you haven't heard about it already, Festival, which is a, a, a fall semester student org fair that takes place on North Campus, but it also takes place on the Diag. This is where a bunch of these student organizations come together and you can you can go to the Diag at that time um, when, when Festival is taking place to actually talk with these organizations and join them. And so um, we won't spend a lot of time on it. Festival is, I believe, Thursday, September 1st. And I believe it starts at 2. Don't quote me on that. Check, uh, go on UMICH's website uh, and, and type in Festival, but I believe it's Thursday, September 1st, and it starts at 2. Um, and that is where 
many, many, many organizations will be there. And so jump onto this platform, figure out the types of organizations you might be interested in, and go to Festival and chat with these folks. Um, this is what it's all about. This is the way to plug in. Um, and I can't, tell, I can't stress enough that student organizations are a really great way to get involved in the type of work you want to get involved with, and then use that as a platform, as a foundation, to spread your wings and find other opportunities that align with the, the interests and passions that you have. The last thing I'll say is a way to get involved is um, our Connected Community Volunteer Database. So this is another great resource. You can use the QR code to get on here. This is essentially a volunteer and community engagement platform where if you are somebody that is really passionate about service work and volunteerism work, uh, this is a platform that you can create a profile and uh, put in the interests that you have, the types of causes that you're interested in, uh, the types of organizations that you wanna work with, and it'll help you find community engagement opportunities around the Ann Arbor and Washtenaw County, which is where Ann Arbor is situated, around the area. And so, for example, you create a profile, say that you're interested in education, healthcare, environmental justice, and it'll auto-filter opportunities that are available to do service work in that area. Um, what's also cool is you can add, you can literally add your schedule, the times that you want to volunteer. Say you're a Saturday, Sunday morning type of person, you wanna get a couple hours of service in on the weekends, you can put that into your profile and it'll continue to do auto filter opportunities that are available during the times that you are wanting to do service. So there are a lot of features on Connected Community. There are a lot of great ways to uh, use this platform as a way to plug into community engagement efforts happening off campus. Um, and so I encourage you to at least get on there, create a profile, uh, poke around a little bit, get an idea of what sorts of opportunities are available um, and use that as a, as a resource, as a tool to, to continue to um, find and access different opportunities. And so that is a brief overview of some different things that you can plug into as a student to get involved in community engagement and civic engagement work. Some of those things are at the Ginsburg Center uh, in the programs that we offer, but there are so many opportunities across campus. And so I am more than happy to answer any specific questions that are coming up for folks. Um, feel free to drop those questions into the Q&A feature and I can, I can read them out loud and answer them for folks. Um, and so I'll go ahead and, and pause and allow for any, any questions that might be coming to mind as, as you're thinking about your own community engagement and social change work as a student at U of M. So, so folks are either typing really long questions or I'm assuming that no questions are coming up right now, which is perfectly fine. I realize I threw a lot of information at you. What you're seeing at the bottom of your screen are our website, as well as if our, our student facing email. So if you have any questions that come up and you want to explore more, uh, feel free to email us ginsburg.students at umich.edu, or you can visit our website ginsburg.umich.edu to explore some of these things further. But if that's if that's all that's that's there and nobody has any questions, I just I want to thank you for spending your time here and listening to listening in on and be your interest in community engagement and civic engagement work. Um, and again, welcome to Michigan. Thanks for attending this, uh, this series and we will hopefully connect at some point in the future. Thanks y'all.